there's no rain after six o'clock the forecast said it starts to get sunny about nine o'clock the forecast said it lie like sheep watch look at this look at this weather rain I'm out in the rain I never like to be out in the rain anyway happy new year and welcome to 2020 and the first ride out to place undecided at the moment I'm trying to wear my uh, gerbing heated gloves and uh, they are a bit of a faff they're great when they're, uh, they're on, keep your hands lovely but uh, a proper faff connecting to these so I'm wearing them today had them about three years and this is the first time oh second time second time so I've worn them in anger so I'm going to persevere and uh, see if I can uh, get over the faff that you have to do when you get connected up ready to go so just waiting for Kevin L Paul was coming but he's uh, had a change of plan I think he had a couple too many sherbets last night so uh, Paul's not coming Brian's got the grandkids and uh, and uh, that's about it really so uh, might just be me Kevin L and the rain does say sun though from about 12 o'clock blazing sunshine according to the weather forecast yeah yeah of course it is we'll see anyway I'll be back soon when we actually decide where we're going and what we're doing and there you go British weather for you. So here we go. It's uh, 12th of January, Sunday morning, about quarter to ten, half nine, quarter to ten, and uh, it's just me and Kev. And we're off down. We were going to go up to uh, the north and have a look around Cannock and up. Uh, Rusley and up towards Utoxeter but that's for another day now we're going to stay local and we're going to pop down to um, through Bridge North down to uh, towards Little Owen Clee over to Lee Hill down to Cleary Water where we might stop for a cup of tea and then home so it's going to be a short one today but uh, we are going to do one, and that's the main thing. I don't know whether the uh, the lens is clear with this camera, so a bit of a stroke, a bit of a wipe off, make sure it's clear. So yeah, so from it absolutely pissing down uh, half an hour ago, we seem to have uh, some clear skies ahead. So uh, we've got to get this ride in after all. And, uh, so last ride out was uh, towards the end of October last year we went up to uh, up to uh, the Raven Calf so it's been what oh blimey, 21st October November, December two and a half months blimey, probably ten weeks since I've been out on the bike so I was going stir crazy so it is nice to get out even if I'm going to get wet nice to get out. Uh, my nose is streaming with snot at the moment and uh, to be expected I suppose. Yeah so uh, first ride, try to change your plan um, but I can update you with what we're doing uh, later in the year now. Well, not that late actually so in May the last week in May we're going to go and do the Wild Atlantic Way but the southern section so we're going to go over uh, to Dublin straight over to uh, County Clare stay in Addis for the first night and then head down south along the coast uh, on the Friday we're then sort of uh, I think it's Kilkenny where we end up on the Friday and on the Friday we travel up to Dublin and we have an overnighter in Dublin and uh, travel home on the ferry and then home down from Holyhead on the Saturday 
that's the plan for the May uh, trip and then I'm doing one then the first week in July and this time we're going to do the northern part uh, so we're going to go over it again to Dublin then hang a right head north up through Belfast up towards Giants Causeway stay the first night in Portrush and then work down ending up on uh, Thursday night in any the same place we're staying uh, when, at the start of the uh, the May trip so I'm really looking forward to them they're all booked they're all uh, signed up the ferries are booked and paid so just uh, waiting to go now and then in the meantime it's just uh, local riders but I'm planning to do a, a, a few a little bit uh, further afield than, than this local uh, I want to go and do uh, Devil's Staircase uh, Elam Valley down to Aberystwyth um, I want to go up and see Lake Venway uh, up into the East Midlands uh, the Peak District and uh, the uh, Derwent uh, Lady Barrow Reservoir so I want to do all these this year get those in well I'm a proper uh, proper snotty and stuff now so uh, got those to look forward to um, I'm uh, feeling really comfortable it's not cold this morning but I've got a lot of very thin layers rather than a thick jumper so I've got about four thin layers on top and uh, I've got my thermal under trousers on as well so I feel really comfortable and these uh, although they're a faff these uh, heated gloves they're only on the, the lowest setting but they're, uh, they're lovely, the hands are not, they're just, just nice so uh, uh, probably the, the sound's not brilliant because I can't put my visor down because it's, uh, it's not completely clear but, uh, so yeah that's the plan today so the first part of the trip is to get us down through uh, down through the rapid the, ra the rapid the rabbit run down to Bridge North up the hill out of Bridge North over the Severn and then hang a left towards Ludlow and down that way so uh, that's the start of the trip Oh, there's another trip. Start of the ride and a bit of a summary there of what uh, what's planned. Um, so I'll uh, I'll sign off and be back when we get into uh, a bit more countryside. Well, bit of flying blind there then. Couldn't see a bloody thing. Just goes to show you can go from one extreme to the other. Right, so we're uh, running down the hill towards Bridge North now, and then uh, we're dropping onto the uh, the road down towards Woodland. Can't think what it's called or what the road number is. We'll see in a minute. Jesus, I am full of snot there. Plenty of clear over there. Apologies for my sniffing. You'll probably notice I'm a bit wary about uh, banking and uh, corners at the moment. Although I'm in uh, rain mode, Kev's uh, incident when he came off his uh, MT09, I'm very wary of the wet. Just like that, lost a bit of my confidence, I think. So, I dare say it'll come back, but uh, definitely uh, a bit more uh, nervous at the moment in the wet. Probably River Summit and the Seven Valley Railway. to just uh, spray up there, wouldn't it? There we go. The left turn down. Oh, 
if only the road was dry. Kept stacking it easy as well. Sensible thing to do. So this year's about seeing if I can match or surpass the uh, the number of ride outs I did last year. The aim is to surpass, and I did a good few last year as well. Probably one of the uh, best ride out years I've had, I think. Oh, sun in your face, wet road. No, it's poor to be snot. Remind me why we do this again. Because we bloody love it, that's why we do it. So I'm a week later being out in January than I was last year. Last year I was out, first ride out, 6th of January. And that was on this bike, I just picked it up the day before. Uh, 6th of January. And this year I'm a week later on the 12th of January. So I'm a little bit behind. But uh, we'll soon catch that up and surpass it. Oh, such a waste when you've got these twisties and you've got to take it so flipping easy. This is a cracking road. It is in a pretty shit state, this road. Look at this. Bloody massive potholes. What a wookie hole that one was up back there. Bike it enough, you'd have no chance. Lovely little village. Oh, it's becoming a bit overcast again. So we're not heading back into rain. I love these little villages. Unspoiled by time. Oh. Best of the way in the countryside. It's everywhere, good luck. Yeah. What are the camps going to be able to? Yeah, camp study, but we're running up here. What a view. And I'm only 35 miles away from home. Those rolling hills over there. Stunning. That's is what road service should be like. Pretty too much to be expected to be like this sort of everywhere. Hill. 4117. B4117, I think. Oh, that's a There we are, on top of Tlee. Lovely place. the 
now to this engine and these pipes I could uh, at some point in the future I might put some vents and hoins on I reckon that sound fantastic Did I miss the calf? Yeah. Do you want to go back? Yeah, could do, yeah. Whereabouts is that? Um, the one by the river. Well, we can park on that car park at the back. Yeah. Okay, mate. change of plan, I missed the cafe clear remote bus, so we're going to get the cafe in Beardley. just had a uh, sausage and tomato sandwich and a latte at the Riverside Cafe in Beaudley and now we're going on that's been rather a pleasant uh, ride apart from the uh, god awful weather Boy, he's absolutely filthy, and uh, so is me trousers. Gonna get in clean time, I think. Probably not gonna get a bike to clean today. Do that in the week, I think. That way, I don't like it. Stuff all that way. Well that's uh, ride out should hopefully quell my thirst for getting out on my bikes. At least for a at least for a fortnight anyway. There's the old West Midland Safari Park. Not quite sure what to do with the dinosaur out in front. Anyway, um, yeah. Hopefully that will uh, satiate, is it satiate? Satisfy, we need to be out of the way. You wouldn't believe this is a sortie, would you? Traffic. Bring back the good old days of Sundays where places were shut. in the point where we make Kev come a cropper on our way back from the Gospel Pass but this is exactly where he came a cropper here now so I'd normally just throw the bike into that I 
come back you up, could you? Get home with the weather cones out, nice. Oh, I don't know. I'll see you in a couple of weeks, probably. All right, mate. And uh, as we're near home, the sun is uh, shining brightly. You couldn't make it up, could you? British weather, you couldn't make it up. Anyway, we've managed to do our first ride out of the year. We got filthy and wet, but uh, other than that, I quite enjoyed it. So on that note, I'm going to conclude and say to anybody who has uh, stuck with it, thank you for watching, hope you've enjoyed it and uh, stick around for more videos as the uh, ride outs that we do and fill throughout the year. That was uh, not a particularly uh, exciting one, this one. It's just an opportunity really just to uh, just to get out on the bike. So once again, thanks for watching. If you are a subscriber to the channel, thank you for subscribing. And uh, Please do leave comments, they are most welcome, and uh, I'll see you again soon.